Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you this uh, proximity growth template made with Geometry Nodes 3.0 and you can drag and drop just any collection to your Geometry Nodes panel and it will grow by proximity. So let's start with our default cube. The light I have already deleted, we don't need that. Click on it and jump into the geometry nodes panel and we create a new geometry nodes setup. You can disconnect the group input and the group output and delete the group input because we don't need it. We will generate our own grid. Type in grid. Then we need uh, distributes on points on faces node. We will need an instance on points node. And of course the join geometry node. First of all, we connect the grid with the join geometry and the output. And then, oh no, and then we can connect the grid with our distribute points on faces node and with our instance points node and that with the join geometry node. And now we are ready to add a placeholder object that we can let grow. Just rename it uh, geometry nodes object and now we can create our placeholder object therefore I create a cube you can create whatever you want I will just increase the size of our grid from to 8 to 8 meters and now I uh, create our placeholder object you can place whatever you want I make a cube transform it and put it with drag and drop. First rename it, placeholder object and drag it in our scene and connect the geometry output with our instance input and there we got some random distribution on our grid. Now it's time to generate our proximity object. Therefore we create a new mesh. You can use uh, whatever you want, but I will use a UV sphere for start. I will scale it a little bit up. And again, rename it proximity object. And again, drag and drop it in our scene. So because we want to uh, measure the distance between the midpoint of our proximity object and each instance, we have to get, uh, we have to create a position node. We need a geometry proximity node. And because we want to measure the distance, we need a vector math node that we set to distance. Now we can connect the geometry node with the target, the position node with the upper value input and the geometry proximity position with the lower input. Now we need a math node, not a vector math, a math node and set this to multiply add. You can copy that and the second one we only set to multiply and because we want to control the, the, the random growth of our instances we need a random value node and now we can connect the, the distance with the upper value, set activate clamp, 
connect the value with the upper value and the random value with the lower value. These two values will la later on uh, control the minimum size and the maximum size of our random, uh, random placeholder objects. Now finally, uh, we only need a combine x, y, z node. We connect each input. And because uh, we want to influence the, the scale of our instances, we connect it with the scale input and we have to set the, the tab here original to relative, otherwise it won't work. And there we got it. We have our proximity growth. We have to set that value to minus one and the lower value to one so that we here can see something grow and there we got it we have a crows now that we can see something in our viewport click on the proximity object then go to the object properties panel to first to Visibi viewport vis visibility and that mode to bounce. In my case, because I chose a sphere, I set it to sphere. And because we want to see it in the later rendering, uh, click on the visibility panel and deactivate everything. So we can't see it rendered. Now we have a very smooth growth. And now we can uh, refine it a little bit. For example, we can set the density much higher. No, that was the wrong one. Here it is. Beautiful proximity growth. That's our original object. I will hide that underneath our plane. Now um, we can We can put some real objects in it. Um, I prepared already some, some grass objects. For that, we only have to delete our placeholder object and drag and drop our grass collection into it. And connect the geometry output with the instances. Activate separate children, reset children, and pick instances. And there we have our grass that grows. I have already set it to bounce because it's, uh, can, it, it can get pretty heavy. The scene if you set the density very high. But it looks already uh, all, all um, too uniform for me. Um, so we have to control the, uh, the rotation a little bit. Therefore we go back to our geometry nodes panel and we duplicate that combine x, y, z. And because we want to only rotate it around the z axis, we only connect the z axis input and connect that with the rotation of our instance on points. So now we have a random rotation. It looks a little bit more natural. And as we increase our size, maybe to 500, it looks like a beautiful meadow. So the only thing that's uh, left to do is maybe that we have control about our uh, proximity object. Right now um, we can only um, change it manually, but I would like to change it by, by numbers. So what can we do? We have to add a transformation node. Sorry, transform transform node. And now we have full control about the scale, the size of our proximity object. 
no wrong one that one and we have beautiful grow that you can animate and do whatever you want with <laughs>